Hi everybody. Uh, I just uh, wanted to say best of luck to all of you for uh, Sunday's exam. And uh, uh, on behalf of um, uh, like all teachers and with them and there, even all the staff. So everybody wanted to wish you best of luck. So I'm taking that opportunity and and wishing you best of luck for uh, for the Sunday exam, the exam for which you have been preparing for last two years. You have done such a hard work that at the last moment uh, uh, you have to be very careful at the last stage. So uh, only two days left and in two days hardly you can do new things or, or hardly even you can do things. So uh, uh, for on Saturday uh, don't study too much. Maybe seven, eight hours would be sufficient time and try to study uh, in the morning half when you will have the first exam and in the second half when you'll have the second exam so try to just match your schedule with the IT paper schedule and and do something maybe learn formulas or something you would have uh, marked in chemistry so you revise that but but anything which can give you tension don't do that it's, it's not advisable strictly not advisable and m important thing would be your uh, you have to go to sleep on time um, uh, try to do it today like uh, on Friday as well as on Saturday so maybe 9.30 or 9 is the time idea is that you should have you should take at least uh, 8 hours sleep and generally uh, you know when tomorrow you have a, uh, a critical exam it is very difficult uh, that you lie on a bed and, and uh, you get to sleep uh, immediately it's, it's difficult to sleep so because you'll be anxious so just just but but it doesn't mean that you don't go to sleep just lie on a bed take slow and deep breath focus on your breath try to throw thoughts out of your mind and if you try if you do it for 10 15 minutes slow and deep lying on your back on the bed slow and deep breath for 5 10 minutes and try to throw thoughts out of your mind and try to feel light your body is light and as if you're flying in air so so try to experience weightlessness uh, as if you are you 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 are there but you don't feel the weight of the body so if you do it for 10 15 minutes uh, i can guarantee that you will be you will be you will be sleep you will be asleep in in 10 10 minutes 15 minutes try this maybe even if you take half an hour that that's not bad and uh, uh, so uh, s s s sleep is very important and don't take any medication or, or something like that just just try this uh, experience and you'll be able to sleep and see it's very important that and in, in, in during last stages you have to be very cool relax calm and 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 uh, uh, like cool calm and relax and uh, maybe no 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 uh, 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 negative energy uh, don't make negative energy around you so when I say cool calm and relax means so anything that is giving tension to your mind so so just try to throw it away so as if like you would be uh, the day when India was would, was playing with Pakistan or the India Sri Lanka final uh, maybe the for those who are interested in cricket the, the you would be especially when India would be uh, in the winning stages try to try to uh, uh, maintain that try to create that uh, so so that's why anything that is giving you tension so don't do that don't talk to your friends even when don't talk to yourself if you try to conserve your mental energy so when you think or when you speak or when you whenever you try to do something which puts strain on your mind it drains out your mental energy so so that's why we tell you not to do anything new just repeat whatever you have done so try to be cool the more and, and more you are relaxed the better you will prepare better you will perform in the exam and not uh, in, in these two days even when you are uh, sitting in exam and giving exam your performance majorly depends upon or hugely depends upon how cool and calm you are in the exam so though it is very difficult when you are doing a uh, such an important exam so it's very natural that either you get excited or, or you get nervous excited when you are able to perform in the exam and you get nervous when you're not able to perform so both of these situations are bad so that's why the balance you have to be a little balanced means you have to be calm like neither you go, go excited nor you go uh, uh, panicked or nervous 
so see generally what happens when you get a easy exam you get excited uh, because you read a question and you are able to solve so, so what can happen with such an excitement you might do more calculation mistakes because when you get excited your concentration might might you might get defocused your concentration might go low and and you, you are in hurry you're doing fast so there's a huge uh, there's a huge possibility that you can do a lot of calculation mistakes or silly mistakes or you read question wrong so that way uh, don't get over excited if you are able to perform in the exam the other thing that can happen is you can uh, uh, an exam is difficult especially in mathematics you can get panicked you can get nervous because uh, you try some questions maybe maybe last three four questions you tried you're not able to solve even a single question it's, it's very natural in mathematics exam so at this stage don't get panicked don't get nervous don't uh, feel depressed see the mathematics exam is a low scoring exam so even if you are able to perform 30 percent of the of the paper uh, you score a decent mark you score decent marks so don't don't uh, and it's natural feeling that uh, when you are even not able to solve few questions uh, you you think that everybody is able to solve you are the one who is not able to solve but believe me that in mathematics it happens that not everybody when they come out they say that they have done done it bad so so it, it, even you know if mathematics paper is difficult those, those who have prepared well it is good in a way that uh, exam is difficult in a way because if it's good that other people are not able to do it right because it's whenever exam is difficult your uh, those who have prepared the chances of getting good rank goes up so in a way it's good that they make at least mathematics exam difficult so your chances of getting good rank uh, goes up with that but but you you can screw it up if you get nervous in the exam so that way don't get nervous if you're not able to solve questions few questions in a row just be calm and, and just remember that uh, you're not supposed to solve all of these questions. Definitely, there are questions which you can do. And when I saw uh, uh, J 2009 and 2010 papers, I clearly showed you with questions that these are, there were questions which uh, I told you they're difficult questions. You cannot do an exam, but there were a lot of questions which I clearly showed you that which are directly which were directly based on formulas or directly based on basic concepts. And 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 uh, you would you would have agreed with me that these these were those questions which you could have even solved an exam even IT exam so so when you come across those questions which you're not supposed to solve just don't get panic man lo the question out of course tha bekar tha you were not supposed to solve that question so why do get panic right and <coughs> so so just remember that when exam is easy you have to control your excitement when exam is difficult you have you have to make sure that you don't get nervous and between the two two exams don't try to analyze whether you did a good paper or you did a bad one and don't try to listen to what others are saying so the moment you come out of the exam people start saying paper what difficult tha, easy tha, ye wo. and you might have a different opinion so don't get panicky don't even listen to that just try to get away from the people and if possible maybe you can come back to your home or sit in the car and try to relax don't think what happened because if you become negative during the break you can screw up your next paper you can you can with you can take the uh, uh, excitement you can take the nervousness you can take the, the the impact of the first paper on the second paper whereas you it's a relative grading how you have done doesn't matter it's a relative thing how others have done it it matters on that also so that way you are not the best just to analyze whether you did a right thing or a, you, you, you did a good exam or a bad exam because a relative thing if you you might have done bad but others might have done uh, uh, worse than you so you so you you'll end up getting more marks so that way don't analyze uh, uh, in your exam in break and try to relax try to do 10 15 minutes deep breathing uh, between the breaks maybe you can uh, uh, if you want if you have a formula copy you can revise formula copy don't uh, if possible uh, don't try to sleep uh, uh, because maybe it's up to you uh, if you can take a power nap that's fine but if you in a habit of taking long naps for short nap would not be a good good idea so but if you're in a habit of taking 15 20 minutes power nap kind of a thing then then it's fine so so but it's very important that you should feel you should throw away your fatigue in in the break because you have to, to prepare yourself for the second half right so you should not feel tired because generally it happens in the second exam a lot of people get tired during the last second half of the second exam and they end up performing uh, bad just because of the physical fatigue 
so make sure you don't catch the physical fatigue try to relax yourself in, in, in in, in the in the break and that's best way is if you can come home or you can get away from the crowd sit in the car don't talk just to keep yourself engaged you can just learn formulas right and and to try to do deep breathing right uh, uh, most of the things i've told you uh, you know see earlier i was planning to discuss 2007 and 8 itj papers but uh, um, uh, like um, I dropped the idea and when Badevi has said that at last stage you should not do, you should not solve any new questions. Though it's not new for me and, and maybe for most of you these questions were new questions. So idea of JE, solving JE paper uh, uh, was that that you should be familiar of the kind of questions that come in exam. The level of the questions that come in exam. And and there, there are certainly questions which should not be able, you would not be able to solve in exam or even you should not try at the first stage but at the same time there is a huge lot of questions pool of questions which you can solve which are directly based on the concepts you you know so question parte lag raha tha aap kar sakte hain so 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 that way jitna aap finally marks leke aayenge exam mein usse zyada aapko aata hai so that's not a problem that you don't know how to solve those questions because you end up scoring marks lower than what you know so so just just you can perform, so that way purpose was solved so i decided not to discuss more on, on, not to take more classes uh, in, the, in the last few few days so and finally i will say that which i keep telling you uh, but before that one more thing the people who do calculation mistakes or maybe the question the mistakes they do is when they read question wrong so just before the exam when you get up in the morning or before the exam or maybe during the exam just keep on rem remember keep on uh, uh, reminding yourself that uh, uh, i have to do no mistake today I cannot accept any mistake today. I have to do paper with concentration. कि मैं मिस्टेक नहीं करूँगा. And if you can do it before every question, before every session, before every question, कि जैसे क्वेश्चन शुरू कर रहे हैं, I'm starting this question and I'll do it correct today. I am not going to do mistake today. If you just strongly uh, uh, speak in your mind that I am not going to do mistake today, I'll do it full concentration और मैं मिस्टेक नहीं करूँगा. So if you do that, I can tell you that your chances of doing mistake will 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 go down by at least fifty percent. It will so uh, it will come down uh, like majorly come down so so just 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 do that and finally be positive the more you are positive in in, in the remaining few hours the better you end up performing i have told you uh, a number of times that that when you are positive you think positive you remain positive you are happy cool calm relaxed you attract those kind of positive forces around you and and with that positive environment around you and are performing better but the moment you are more anxious nervous panicked f- frustrated negative so you attract negative forces around you and and these negative forces uh, 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 maybe they they hamper your performance they they distract you they 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 harm you so, so that way uh, uh, just just try to be positive no negative thing and again i wish all of you best of luck for sunday's exam and i'm confident you should be also be confident that you're going to perform good in the exam and on behalf of uh, all other people with them because it specifically told me to wish best of luck to you so so it's a, it's a best of luck from their side also okay bye bye thank you